The city of Cedar Rapids continues its work on a comprehensive flood protection plan, and today, city engineers viewed something a little bit different. They watched a demonstration showing what could happen if they used a hydraulic wall to protect low-lying areas along the river. CBS News reporter Marissa Scott is live now with more. Marissa. Scott and Tiffany, the wall is designed to rise when water rises. It might be a good option for some areas, but the city knows it's not going to work for everyone. Six years ago, still won't leave one baker's mind. The water was just under the, uh, the picture. That had never entered our mind because there had never been water on the first floor. It took 10 months and many volunteers to get his bakery back up and running. We were still feeling the effects of it to some degree. Which is why the city is looking at flood protection equipment. We want to be educated. We want to know what technologies are out there. And we want to make good decisions about what we select for our system. On Tuesday, city officials watched a demonstration that showed a wall rising when water rises. And it's like if you've ever tried to hold a beach ball under the water. It doesn't require manpower or electricity. It will boom, pop it all the way up. But lets the water do all the work. The company Floodbreak says the wall could be up to 250 feet long and must be at least two feet above flood stage. But finding what will work best for the city will take some time. Every segment needs to be really well thought through. City officials know they need to spend money on different types of equipment to cover their bases. I think we still have some more homework to do. He says one plan would be to potentially put the equipment along roadways or hard to get areas. A tough decision that might not be finalized for a few years. The city's taking a thoughtful approach and taking their time and that's a good thing. Don't want to rush into it. Floodbreak has been marketing their products to the city from the beginning of the year, but it's unknown how much the equipment could cost because it's based on the type, height, and length of the wall. The city does not know how much of this particular equipment would be needed. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Marissa Scott, CBS 2 News.